Here we go. Not only will getting down be faster, but you know what? I could probably just fast travel. There's no reason I need to actually run away. Yeah, why would I freaking run out of here? That's so much unnecessary work. Literally, I can just go fast travel where I need to go. Oh, it's way over there. Holy crap. It's pretty far. Pretty far, pretty far. Pretty far, pretty far, pretty far. I'm going to do this mission next, though. Why'd I do that? Yes. Can you spare a moment? Someone You're Over the, the weekend, if I want to just chill and de-stress, I'll probably just grind out a bunch of side quests or something. If only you'd use it to help me. A, uh, a lot of these side quests seem, like, completely sword. not necessary. I'm, like, still way over-leveled for everything. I'll see what I can have a word with Yeah, like yeah, 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 whatever. Alright, cool. Yeah, 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 okay. Up there? How to get up there? This way, it seems. Yo, you used bit three times? I I got you. See when we get back. Ooh. Well, there's that. Here's a side quest. Oh, wait, no. I can just loot this. Don't mind me. I'm just going to steal this. Oh, that's right. I have a lot of... Um, Boxes. And grab these real quick. I don't even know what's in here. I'm just grabbing stuff. Alright, cool. You know, whatever. <laughs> yes, guards. Stand by for me. That's right. That's right. This way. I'm this way. I'm going to the captain's quarters. It's a lot of bits, dude. <laughs> I feel like a very uh, privileged streamer. Partner streamer. Wow, that's a lot of bits. It's just the type of bit. A lot in a chat entry. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you okay. mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King. Where we should be, without further delay. Follow me. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Okay. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to oh, meet wow. you. Oh, wow, okay. That many people. Machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. About to meet the Sun King! Too late. The Giggly Bits. The Osteron gets special treatment, and now Outlander from the Savage Inn? What possible interest could the Sun King have in her? What a turd. What a turd. Yo, can you uh, hurry up, my dude? Please, please, just a little bit. Just, just a little faster. If, if you want, I mean. Oh, fucking. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who want. Gotta ignore you, son. You're wasting my time. Put a little pep in your step. What's the sun king like? Get a little Most shot going, man. Thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Here you go, stream. How about this angle? No other streamer's gonna give you that angle. I got you. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Errant, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursus tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. I like the, like, eye tattoo things going on. It's pretty cool. I can help with that. Stream, should I get one like that? A Karja eye tattoo? Named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osoran had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the market. I get a bad guy vibe from that guy. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osoran. No, I that just means I have to get it now. You know? And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well? That young adult angst I have. Developed from teenage. Let me discuss it with her privately. 
In private. Yes. Can you guys bring the drapes? I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. Mm-hmm. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. A lot. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Is that the only reason? Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval, exactly? Durval. To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was... Oh, the old Mad King was his dad? He believed that blood sacrifice would solve... Well, everything. Dang, man. So he raided How about that? the tribes for victims. Especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the sun ring. Honestly, I kind of don't ever want to have a wife and kid, just so I don't have to like, worry about that happening so to me. So why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. And she That's like the easiest way to make anybody do what you want them to do. It's just like liberated the city from my kidnap their loved ones and Durval then threaten to kill them if they don't do it. Like, who wouldn't do the action, you know? Like... And even if you did that action, so like, maybe your action is so great that it sacrifices the lives of so many people, so like... I can't justify the lives of the two people I love for the lives of like hundreds or whatever, thousands or whatever. But even if you make that like judgment call it's for the greater good, um, you still have to live with the conscience that you basically like gave in and allowed your two most loved people to die. That's like the worst freaking situation. You don't win there. You have a bad conscience the rest of your life. You gave in and let your wife and kid die, or you gave in and let like hella people die. I'm just gonna be single for the rest of my life, so I don't have to deal with that situation. When will ever. this attack come? Do you know? I'm not exactly sure. Single boys. And we will do what we can to prepare. But in the meantime, Ursa is my highest priority. Please help me find her. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. Honestly, I don't really care. I need to get going. <laughs> Let's well, be real here. I'm really not concerned. Should never beg. But please, help me find our son. Who says that? I don't think asking is the same as begging. Don't hesitate to ask him or Aaron if you have further questions. You'd let hella people die? Mm. See, like, like either way, you're a jerk to people. Like, you're forced to make a tough call, so you can't really, like, hold yourself really responsible. But, like, you're gonna hold yourself responsible, you know? It's gonna happen. Whoa, is this the same quest? Holy travel time. Oh my god. Alright. Here's that Aaron says that Ursa was kidnapped instead of slain, but many questions remain. Where is she? Who is she responsible? And why? Alloy delves the ruins of U.S. Robot Command to learn more about Project Zero Dawn. If she can discover the weapons Elizabeth Sobek, Sobek used to defeat the ancient robot plague, maybe she can wield them herself. Alright, I think this is like the main quest? They're both main quests. Dang. I wonder how the why are they both main quests? I think I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna fast travel as close as possible. So I think it would be here. I keep waypointing. Okay. Call mount. There we go. 
lit. Like this bonfire. Alright, here we go. We'll grab whatever bonfire is on the way, too. This way. Cool. Agent should be at the marketplace by now. Rides agent. Mount can't enter this location. Oh. Yeah, this guy's probably freaking out because he doesn't really know that I can override stuff. So he's like, oh god, this thing's right here next to us. <laughs> Kill it. Kill it with fire. Kill it with fire. So apparently in Zelda. Well, whatever. I want to light the bonfire first. Light the fire. Kept the wheel turning all day and by the um, forge, I apparently in Zelda. Dude. Out of my way. Okay. Sorry. Just had a little bit of a stressful encounter there. Apparently in Zelda you can uh, pet. Oh! Is this the dude? Wait a minute. That, that's Olin, but it's not Olin. All right. Didn't know Olin had a twin brother. How cool is that? Congratulations to him. I always wonder what it would be like to have a twin brother. Or twin sister. No How cool it would be to have a twin sister when I'm a guy, you know? That would be kind of cool. We better look for him. Brother, sister, twins. Like from the Rugrats. Except not actually dead. I'm going to loot this and steal it right in front of your face. You're going to deal with it. Alright. And if you want to know why I said but not actually dead, then you should probably look into that kind of information yourself. Sell. Sell. Keep selling. But not this one. But not that one. Alright, cool. I'm probably going to sell like all of these uncommon ones. Like at this point, there's just hella like, mods that I really don't need. What is handling exactly in this game? I hate the term handling in video games because it's a very ambiguous term. It could mean accuracy. It could mean like movement speed while you hold a weapon. It could be equip speed. It could be put away speed. It could be speed that you actually pull the, the bow. So you actually like can fire arrows accurately faster. It could be actual accuracy to the where you're at aiming. It could mean a lot of things. It just says handling. I kind of hate that. I really don't like that. It's just a generalized term. You have, can I buy any of these outfits? God, it's frustrating. Wait, I can buy some of these outfits. Alright, well, I'm going to buy this. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to buy this. And I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy this. Cool. I still have hella things. Alright, um, crafting, modify outlet fits. What can I modify this with? Huh. Well, I'll do this. And this. And. Do that. Why not? Alright, and the. F oh, wait, no. I'll do this one. This one that resists corruption, I'll add the corruption one on it. This one that resists shock, I'll add the extra shock resist on it. So, hella resist shock. Hella resist corruption. 
pretty good freeze resist, to be honest, considering these are like at base 50. I actually have over the 50 base on this one. So basically I have a freeze resist uh, outfit now, corruption resist outfit, and then shock resist outfit, which is pretty nice. I'm going to continue running with this um, stealth outfit. Unfortunately it has one off slot, so it kind of sucks, but whatever. Whatever. I guess I'll do this. This. And this one, I'll do this one, because I'm pretty sure a shock one would be arranged as well. So why not? All right. I'll still run this, though, because in general, that's going to be nice. But if I ever need to resist electric or shock or whatever, or resist corruption or resist frost, then I'll just switch off it's on the fly. On the fly. But then just in general, though, stealthiness is pretty nice. Cool beans. You actually probably also have one of these things for me. I'll take it. Thank you. I want this. So I'll take it. Cool. Freeze resist! Yo, I can add that to this. No, this. Is this the freeze resist one? Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, is it for a weapon to add freeze? It is. Uh. Uh. So handling. What the hell is handling? <clears throat> I don't know what handling does, but I have that. Yeah. I'm gonna switch it to this. So I do a lot of damage with my main bow. Look at that. Look at that damage. It's almost max damage. That's so cool. Alright, what other things do I have? What is this one? 26? The shocker, not that high. Okay. And for freeze. It's a 17 freeze bonus damage. I'll just do the freeze. Cool. Again, I don't know what the other things do, so I'm just going to not worry about it. This weapon can be used to tie down machines and immobilize them. Larger targets require more ropes, and attacking a tied machine will reduce the immobilization time. Can be modified. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's why it gave me a rope caster before I fought the big machine thing. So if I like engage all of them at the same time, I'll just tie down the machine and then fight off the other guys and then fight the machine. But I just did it smarter, so whatever. All right, where am I supposed to go? Find Marad's operative. Look at all these things happening on the left. Dang, that's a lot. Still a lot of things. All right. Word is, you know well, like someone left here recently. Keep and it. They were in a hurry. Someday, maybe you'll all right, going upwards. Cool. I want to. I want to save though, because that's a lot of things I just did. I don't feel like putting my brain through all that work again. And savings pretty fast. I'm not trading today. I don't care if you're trading or not. Yo, Vector, have a great night, dude. Thanks for hanging out. Recycle the skin, they do it in this game? Yeah. They do that in a lot of games, but they usually like, modify them a little bit to make it like concealed. I don't know, I guess they gave this game like too much credit for like being like hella like you know. Nah, whatever. Has to be Marat's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe <laughs> because he found something. I'm not yes. handling. Thanks, Vecto. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of men. Oh man. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. And my men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. Alrighty. You know what some door I call machines? Metal children. <laughs> Alrighty. Here we go. Can I jump this? Oh, I can. How convenient. How convenient.
Run away, stream. The amount of time I save with getting this mount thing is a lot. So I'm very thankful that we got it. Where am I going up here? How did she know that place was called Pitch Cliff if she like just now experienced this place for the first time? What? What? That makes no sense. Campfire discovered. Ooh. Ooh. Fast travel. Cool! Super cool, dude! Really cool! Righteous! Righteous! Uh, I have mentioned it before. I'm gonna mention it again. I really hate the mounted movement mechanics in this game. It's very clunky and I hate it. Did I mention I hate it? Because I really hate it. It's. it's God. It's just. I hate it so much. Tinker. He probably experiments on them or, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back. 